So welcome back to the channel everybody. Today we are in uh, Sunny Barking. Well it's absolutely lashing it uh, down uh, today but um, we'll crack on. So everyone today, uh, put your teeth back in. So today we're going to have a look around uh, Barking Town Centre. Uh, to see what's uh, what's around and how it's changed over the years. I'll try and highlight some uh, important features and while we're going around. So I wonder why that's uh, all blocked off. So like there's plenty of building work going on. It's like new apartment box uh, sort of going up. So I'm just going to uh, zoom in on uh, on this uh, sculpture uh, here. Now this um, sculpture is uh, called the Catch and it was uh, designed by a, or a sculpture called Lorraine Leeson and uh, she specialises in community based visual arts and she also has a PhD in arts as well. The Catch is a reflection of the uh, Barking and Dagenham historic uh, fishing industry but the, uh, the locals refer uh, to this roundabout as the dolphin roundabout so let's zoom in so I don't know if you can see it's just lots of uh, sort of fish as a part of the sculpture and it's kind of I just zoom out and it's kind of depending if you get the right angle it actually looks like a kind of a bit of a love heart uh, as well just uh, wonder how much that costs to uh, to be implemented and designed so uh, YouTube. Oh, um, the young lady just spoke to me. It's uh, a minor, so I will blur her face out. So just look at the sculptures we uh, we walk past. Oh, it's absolutely lashing it down at the moment. But a little bit of rain doesn't hurt anybody. The only downside is it is that uh, Beverly gets a day off. She is with me in my backpack though. Trying to find the restaurant. Spotted Dog Pub there. I don't know if they um, still do this, but it's what used to be on the floor in the uh, Spotted Dog Pub was uh, sawdust and they uh, specialise in real owls and they've uh, got a famous drink called Davy's Old Wallop and uh, believe me you can't have uh, you can't drink too many uh, too many of those but that's a spotted dog in uh, Barking you'll have heard in uh, another uh, previous video when I did the Barking bus garage a gentleman mentioned the Barking Dog, that's the uh, location of the Barking Dog but that's uh, some looks like instructions or work down on 
here where Nando's is, let's zoom out. That used to be the location of the old Barking Odeon. And I'll uh, see if I can find some old photos of uh, what that looked like as well. Let's have a quick look at the, uh, at the train station. So this is Barking train station. It was uh, revamped uh, fairly recently. The lines you get coming in here is the C2C, and you also get the district line coming in. So this is the station. Looks like this work's going on in here as well. You can get your C2C tickets here. Fruit and vegetable. I'll see if I find the uh, can find the information. I'm not sure which shop this was, but in the uh, 1980s, uh, mid 1980s, early 1980s, I believe, uh, there was a um, a murder in one of these restaurants that was never resolved. I'll see if I can find some information about that online, and if I can, I'll uh, I'll post that in. Chunky, got KFC here, that used to be a wimpy. <coughs> got Vicarage Field Shopping Centre, so uh, I'm going to have a quick walk around that, get out of the, uh, the rain for 10 15 minutes or 10 minutes. Just have a look what's inside uh, Vicarage Field, then I'll come back out and we'll have a, a look around the market. There's no, just check for signage first about photography and public photography. So, from what I can see, there's no signs at all about uh, photography. So, let's have a look what's inside Vicarage Field, shall we? Now bar. That's fruit and vegetable. At least uh, the fruit and vegetable here is a bit different from the one outside. It's uh, away from the uh, the fumes. It's nice and tidy in here. Is my first impression. So it looks like they're uh, doing a good job keeping it clean. Not all the shops are open. Especially for a Saturday, we thought they uh, they would be open. Prime shopping day. So there's no uh, no empty. I haven't come across any empty units yet. But I just wonder why so many of the shops are shut. It's still quite early in the morning, but it's gone. Uh, it's gone 9 a.m. Morning. So good morning to the security guard. Furniture shop there. Toilets. It's a discount store. Morning. What time do the shops open? Oh, half of them are shut. I don't know. It's just amazing Saturday after the shops are shut. Let's have a walk around this side.
amazed at how many uh, these shops are actually uh, actually closed. Let's have a look downstairs. See what's downstairs. Give my uh, screen a wipe just in case it's got raindrops on it. So we've got a B and M store, got a shop here closing down the last few days. So it's closing down for a refit. So they're having a closing down sale. Cheap bargains in there. That relaxing? <laughs> Young lady there uh, in a chair massager. Little toy shop. Little fruit and veg store. That's where you get your sweets. Security uh, left me alone, which was good. So, just uh, opposite, that's where the uh, Barking Police Station uh, used to be, and that's uh, another one of the community based uh, police stations that's uh, been closed down. It's amazing how many uh, police stations have actually uh, sort of closed in uh, across the country. And, uh, a lot of them that's still open, they have no uh, no front counter, and you have to uh, contact uh, 101 by the yellow phone of disconnection. Little sound on Nick there from the news now, Yorkshire. I think, it's, I think that's quite funny actually. Phone of disconnection. So there's a lot of uh, build development there. I'll just zoom in down the end there so you can see. Uh, that's sort of some uh, flats that have been uh, built. That used to be loads of um, high rises there that used to go up to like 22, uh, 22 floors, and that's on the old, uh, that's on the Gascoigne estate in Barking. I'm not 100 percent sure, but I believe the uh, the Gascoigne estate is uh, named after Bamber Gascoigne, who is from Barking, who sadly uh, passed away recently.
So let's uh, cross over and uh, have a look around the market. There is a job centre in town and uh, it's on my list to visit. But I'm out on a Saturday today so most likely that'll be closed. Getting absolutely drenched. Keep blocking keep wiping the rain off me uh, off my lens and my camera. So if you see a white thing every now and then, that's a tissue. Giving it a wipe. Again, I'll post up some uh, Google uh, maps of the uh, the area. So you can see what it looks like, because I would have liked to have uh, put Beverly up on this. There's lots of building work going on. It's like more apartments and being built over the back there. Hopefully it's for affordable housing. Want it? So we're now going into uh, Barking Market. Barking Market's open pretty much every day of the week. The only days it's closed are Wednesdays and Sundays and they're also closed on Bank Holiday Mondays as well. So let's have a look around and see what's uh, available in the, uh, what sort of stalls they have in the market. must really affect trade when it's uh, when it's raining Plenty of people buzzing them out, and I think people are just getting out, getting what they want, and getting off. Loads of trainers. So, McDonald's. Putting some balloons out. So some asses over there. So we've got part of the uh, Barking College, uh, Barking Dagenham College over there, Technical Skills Academy. Just zoom in on uh, 
zoom in on that. Well, that food smells good. Get your pots and pans. Starting to rain heavier now. Well, it, but the rain kills the uh, business, doesn't it? Completely, yeah. Standard, yeah. It's only worth opening, isn't it? Yeah, it's not worth opening. Do you lose your uh, spot if you don't open up? No, nah. you've still got to pay for it, though. You've still got to pay yeah. for it, yeah, so you might yeah. as well open it, mightn't you? Especially the cooks down here, yeah. <laughs> Alright, cheers. So like you said, uh, if he decides not to open up for the day, he still has to uh, has to pay for his uh, pay for his slot. Guy is absolutely lashing it down. Things we do, I do to give you guys some content. But I'm not scared of a little bit of rain. Some fish. I've sort of got carp there as well. Yeah, I've got carp. Well, I want to go and stand and uh, I'll do it out of the rain for five minutes, a couple of minutes, see if it eases off. Rain's over, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, that's a bit rude. So at least I'm out of the uh, out of the rain here. There's lots of little clothing stores. Barking Clock Tower. That's the actual town hall building. When AB uh, visited Barking, he had a bit of fun and games in uh, in Barking uh, Town uh, Town Hall. But he's on my list again to visit as well. It's a Saturday today, so it's highly unlikely that that is uh, that is open. It's 
sorry about the white box seven hour then. I'll just uh, wipe the water off my uh, rain off <coughs> the lens. So let's just watch people walking about, shall we? And about their business. It's a shame it's uh, raining because uh, this market does get quite busy. Okay, it's only a little bit of one, let's, uh, let's crack on. This is the uh, site of the Magistrates Court. I'm not sure if it is still a courthouse. So let's get a little. So I've got a feeling it's not a courthouse anymore. But I'm not uh, not hundred percent sure. It's getting heavier and heavier today. So, if you're only in delicatessen. Town Hall's just around around here. It's a DPD van or damaged parcel was delivered. So some building works going on here. So a buy law here that says no skateboards, no skates, no scooters. It's a criminal offence. So this is Barking uh, Barking Town Hall. I'll put a a link in the uh, the video to uh, if I can find uh, AB's visit here. Put that uh, a link to that video in the uh, in the description. It's quite uh, it was quite funny. So that's the town hall. So I think these are council buildings as well. Let's have a look down here. Interesting lights. So walk around this way, see what's around here. So there's a Barking Dagenham community hub just here. I assume that's shut on a Saturday though.
to Abbey Leisure Centre just over there. So all the windows are blurred out, blinds drawn on the council offices. You can't actually see in any of the windows. There's one window open there on a Saturday, that's a bit of a security risk. Hopefully the rain's not affecting the, uh, the quality of these videos too much. So now this is uh, Broadway Theatre Park in the stage door just there, I'll zoom in on that. You may remember from uh, a previous video where I did uh, the Dagenham Heathway walk around and uh, we met a gentleman who, from memory I think his name was James he was uh, distributing some leaflets for uh, for the Broadway Theatre, and he said uh, he does it voluntary, but he gets to watch the uh, watch the show. So that's uh, it's a good bit of a uh, good trade-off, a bit of bartering. I'll deliver your leaflets, hand those out. You let me watch your shows. There's Gascoigne Park. So it's a big regeneration, uh, like uh, Gascoigne Estate is a big regeneration project on now. It used to be full up, full of really old high rises, and it's uh, you know it didn't look very, uh, did not look very nice that area, and it wasn't a very nice area either. So this is. Henry Charles Jane V Drain VC. I'll, uh, I'll see if I can find some information on uh, on this uh, on uh, Henry uh, Henry Drain, and I'll link that into the video as well. Looking at the uniform, it looks like a World War One uniform. I may be mistaken, but I'll, uh, I'll cut some information about that gent, uh, that soldier in, uh, in here as well. So this is a uh, Broadway theatre, and it's also uh, the local performing arts college uh, works out of here as well. So those that are doing performing arts get to uh, get to use the stage. This is the college entrance just here. So that's the college just here. I'll just ask inside the theatre if uh, maybe I can go. Uh... Morning. See if they were. Let me have a look around the inside. Morning. How you doing? Um, I do um, observational um, documentaries. Okay. I'm just doing one of Bark at the and I just like sort of seeing the uh, the theatre. Yeah, I see there's a lot of kids running around at the moment, so probably now it's not an ideal time. But would it be a chance of a tour sometime? A tour? Yeah, you so can come see back the stage. Tour on a day when we're open and have more staff in. Yeah. Uh, but unfortunately today we're not open. Yeah. Tour, so we've only got the minimum staff to run this. Yeah, event. I see. Yeah, so, kid, yeah. Um, but on Tuesdays and Thursdays we're open. Um, yeah. This week we're very busy. Yeah. If you want to come back for a proper tour. If you email our box office email address, yeah. I'm sure that we can book it in for you. And yeah. show you okay, and members of the public can get tours and all that as well? Uh, members of the public, can't, you can't just come in and book can't a tour. Come but if, you're, if you're coming in for a reason, for documentation, like, for yeah. a reason why not. If you're looking at hiring the venue, obviously we would do tours and things like that. Yeah, okay. Does the, uh, the Performing Arts College still work out of here as well? Yes, Bath yeah. and Dagenham College. Uh, they do performing arts and production arts down there, yeah. um, as well as all their music courses. Yeah, who heads that up now? Um, well, it's run by Bath and Dagenham College, which yeah. is now uh, principal is now Andy Cole, yeah. who runs that, um, and the courses down there are run by various tutors. Yeah, okay, lovely. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Thanks.
Oh, can I, can I take can I take your name for when I phone back and say I spoke to you? My name? Yeah. Let me jot it down on the back of this and then you've got all the details. Alright, nice one. My name's George and I'm the technical building manager. Oh, right, okay. Nice one, thanks George. Right. Appreciate that. Cheers. No so that was, uh, that was George. There's a, there's a chance of uh, potentially getting a, uh, getting a tour. The only thing is though, I don't like to pre-book stuff because uh, then you don't get to see it from where it is. It's got to be done on the uh, on the day, and uh, otherwise I'll make it all tidy, uh, etc. So uh, I'll give that a pass. I won't be contacting George, but it's nice to speak to him and get a little bit of interaction as well. Just have a quick look at this book and see what's uh, coming up. So, spring 2023. So it's like a Laurel and Hardy thing going on. So the George Harrison project. Yep, on stage the Laurel and Hardy cabaret. I bet that's really funny actually. Elvis. The ultimate experience. Oh, E17 are appearing here. When's that? That's uh, oh, it's gone. It was 24th of February. February. Pink the Ultimate Experience, that was uh, James mentioned. You got Bye Bye Baby. And, uh, and the pantomime for uh, 2023 will be uh, Dick Whittington. There's a seat plan for the uh, for the theatre. Okay, well I think that kind of wraps up the uh, the tour of uh, of Barkin. I hope uh, you found that uh, that interesting. So, if you uh, if you like that video, everybody. Please give me a, uh, a thumbs up, please give me a like, please share, please leave a, a comment. And uh, most importantly, I hope everyone's having an absolutely fantastic day and uh, not getting soaked like me. And until the next time, Scorpion Audits out.